Hello, I'm Robin Henning, and welcome to another Exchange Life Nugget of Truth. One of my favorite verses is Isaiah 31, and it says, Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not faint. That sounds great, right? But what does it mean to wait on the Lord? Well, it's not really about time, thank goodness. I don't know about you, but I, I don't like to wait in terms of time. But when you hear the word wait, what I want you to think of is a waiter or a waitress. Now, what do these folks do? They serve. In biblical times, servants serve their masters, and in turn, masters provided for their servants. So when the psalmist wrote in Psalm 123, Behold, as the eyes of servants look to their masters, as the eyes of a maid look to their mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God until He is gracious to us. The psalmist is pointing out the dependent relationship that the servants have on the masters. The servant not only waits on their masters to carry out their directives, but they also depend on their masters for their personal needs. Servants didn't work an eight-hour shift at some job and and then go serve their masters uh, in order to provide for their own needs. No, the master provided for their needs, so they could focus solely on serving their master. So as we look at what Isaiah wrote, was he referring to waiting on the Lord for the Lord to do something? No, he was saying that those who serve the Lord and depend upon Him for life will never run out of His strength, no matter how long they run or how far they walk. So, beloved, this begs the question, who are we looking to or depending on for life? Well, for some folks, they're looking to people, their parents, their spouses, their, their kids, their colleagues. Well, people are never going to meet our needs. They're not designed to do so. And, you know, for others, they're looking to the things of this world for, for accumulating stuff or achievements or accolades. Well, that's not going to cut it. You know, others are trapped in addictions because substances give them a moment of reprieve from the pain that life has brought into them. So how do we apply this verse? Well, every day, beloved, we need to set our minds, preferably in the morning, on our total dependence on Jesus to do all things through us in His strength for His glory. This includes the minutia, the mundane tasks of life, to the spiritual-looking big things, too. You see, all things are sacred to God. Without Him, we can do nothing. So He wants to do all things in us, through us, for His glory. And you know what? Everything we do with this mindset of Christ in us, Christ through us, is going to pass through the refiner's fire at His judgment seat, and He's going to turn around and give it to us as a reward. Isn't that cool? We can take the stupidest things like, I hate to dust, but if I dust with Christ doing it in me through me, I've turned dusting into eternal treasure. I like that idea. Now, beloved, when we depend upon Him, you know what also isn't going to happen is we're not going to get weary. We're not going to faint. Instead, He will continue to renew us with His strength. He's going to enable us to rise above our circumstances, and we're going to be able to soar with eagle's wings for His glory. So, beloved, I hope this encourages you. And one last thing, fly eagles fly on the road to victory. We'll see you next week. God bless.